Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessler here with a video here today. And there's a Photoshop slash After Effects video here today and I create your very own cool stream package with a very simple, subtle animation. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So of course, I like the idea of using type to basically make it more customizable. So if you have really cool type ideas or type pop or fonts basically for you guys, if you guys don't really know what I'm saying, but if you have a really cool font idea that's basically could carry a theme, you can make this very, very customizable very easily. Um, with that being said, the After Effects part should be like super, super easy to follow. So if you're not into After Effects, it's not hard whatsoever. So I'm gonna put myself in the camera right now. You can see it's very clean. It looks really good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, love it, and uh, that's all I got. Enjoy the video. All right, homies, so let's go ahead and get this thing started right here and right now. So of course, I'm gonna be working on the intermission screen, so hopefully you guys can take this and kind of apply this to other different screens as well. And I think you'll, you'll probably understand as soon as you see how we make the intermission screen. But, okay, so to get this started, I'm gonna create new. And the file dimension size that we're using is 1920 by 1080 at 300 resolution is your really good sort of size to use if you're on Twitch or YouTube, or etc. Um, that's the perfect dimension you can basically use for yourselves, right? So I'm going to press create. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is make the background a darker color. For me, I have the hex code 0E, 0E, 0F, which is basically a black with a little bit of blue hue into it. So if you have a color scheme in mind, if you want to use like an orange and a red, let's say if you want to use a orange as your main color. For me, I'm going to be using like a pinkish kind of tone. Um, so for, I'm going to kind of like highlight it with a nice black and uh, bluish tone, right? For the background. But if you wanted to use like another different tone, you just basically change this here while keeping this here and you can get a different tone if you guys want to. But for me, I like where I'm at, press okay. So once you guys have chosen your color, you can press alt and backspace to quick fill it in. And now I have my little blue hue, um, background inside. So with this background, I'm going to press control J to make a duplicate. And then I'll press control U to go ahead and use a uh, hue and saturation. So with hue and saturation, I want to take the lightness and put this up just a little bit like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Press OK. And with this here, this is going to basically act as our camera box. So of course, if we're in a 1920 by 1080 document size, this is also the same size as most people's cameras nowadays. Um, since like what you're looking at, that's the same dimension. So I can press control T to free transform it, hold alt. And right here, I'm going to look at the numbers right above my mouse here, the W, I'm going to want to go to around 1350 or so. I would say right around here is a pretty solid spot to where I want to have this. Press enter, and this is basically just going to act as my camera box. If you want to as well, just to kind of get a more of an idea, you can put a picture of yourself in here. Um, but I don't, you know, we're good. We're, we're fine. But, so, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and start typing in what we need. So I'm going to do stream, and you can't see it, but it's there. Stream, and I'm going to say intermission. Now these two things are currently black. Let's make them both white. Now with this, my main font that I want to basically use is this font right here for intermission, which is going to be Hanson. Um, I will give you guys a cool little playlist to go ahead and watch, which I have basically like nine or 11 episodes of best free fonts for designers, where you can just basically find some really cool fonts for today's video here today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using this as my main font. And then the word stream, I'm going to use a subtext font, basically two fonts we want to use in today's video. And that's going to be Hamburg's hand. Yep. So this is going to be stream intermission in two different fonts. So the subtext font is going to naturally hopefully be a little bit more thinner and just a little more kind of like low key. That way it kind of adds that contrast of less inform less important information to more important information in my opinion, which I think is the word intermission. So now that we have this here. I can go ahead and say to myself, Hey, I want to make the word stream. I'm going to take this word stream here, hold alt, drag it over. Cause I want to use the same, of course, subtext font again. And for this side over here, I'm going to say just a moment moment there we go dot 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 why not right so just a moment so basically stream intermission just a moment this can be saying search for a game searching for a game or looking for someone or etc etc whatever i guess how this applies to you and your what you do on your content right i'm gonna say just a moment just because i think it's nice and simple but i want to add something there to add on the right hand side and also make this about three uh sides of the text and just say move it on the right hand side and we're good so now that we have this here i'm gonna hold alt drag again and I'm going to say this is going to be a duplicate here. And then for this down here, I want this to be saying recent uh, subscriber. And then I'm going to say recent donator. And then recent follower. Boom. Okay. Now, I'm not going to add any icons personally, but if you want to add some icons, I think it might still look fine. I mean, Icon A is a really cool program to use for plugin for uh, Photoshop. But regardless, right, we want to make sure we leave a little bit of space here. So, of course, we have our names that can go right here. The other name can go right here. Another name can go right here. It's probably a little bit too much info. Oh, how do you make, how do you say it? too much space on this right hand side? So what I can do to myself is say, hey, I want to move it over just a little bit more. 
give all these about you know equal uh, adequate space. And I think we're pretty good there. So right now there's absolutely no color at all inside this entire banner or uh, header or document. So I'm gonna click on the foreground color and I'm gonna choose my favorite color. You can choose any color in the world that you would like, of course, but I'm gonna choose a nice sort of pinkish, let's say like right here, uh, like right here, press okay. So once I've chosen my color, I can use the type tool once again highlight the word subscriber. So basically I want to highlight all of the words that I think are most important. So subscriber and then donator, right? And then the word follower as well, just like so, press okay. And now that they all have this nice little simple tone, we're getting really cool kind of uh, color co contrast in here. So what I want to do as well is I can click on the word just a moment. I think whatever you wrote on the right hand side here, I can press alt backspace to quickly fill in the foreground color on type layers as well. Not alone just backgrounds, but also on type. So now we have this here. We're looking pretty solid. It's looking really nice, very simple. Um, but the main portion of this entire video is using, again, your name, I guess, in this case, as a nice background. So for the word uh, intermission, I used a main font. For, again, this is the Hanson font. If I just hold alt, drag it over to make a duplicate. I'm going to write my, uh, my own name in here. So I'm going to write Sesso right now. Of course, my name is four characters. So this might look a little bit better for my instance. Let's say if your characters had one, two, three, four, five, uh, we'll say five. And then, right, we'll say five characters and then six, seven, eight. Let's say you had six, seven, eight, right? So what I would probably do is say, hey, we'll add four here. Uh, let's not, let's, that's even, right? Let's do nine. Okay. So we'll say, boom, right? You can take these other uh, other characters, just make it a little bit more bigger. And that's how you can handle this. But I only have four characters. If you have five characters, you're still pretty good. Uh, but if you have more than that, like that's where you're gonna probably have to split uh, your characters up to get a, to fill more space in a, in a way. Um, so for me though, mine is Sesso, right? Four characters. I'm gonna hold Alt, right? Take this little anchor and make this pretty big, uh, even bigger enough that kind of goes off the actual canvas. I think right here is pretty good. I would say that's pretty solid. So I'm gonna take this layer and drag it below our empty sort of camera box here, just like this. And I'm gonna hold Alt, Shift, click and drag to make a duplicate. And with this color, I wanna choose a gray tone, which I already have as well, which is 1C, 1C, 1D is the hex code. Press OK and just do this. And I think right here, you're pretty at a, you're at a good spot. If you when you're here, you can of course change this color uh, to your pinkish tone or whatever color you're choosing. So Alt Backspace to quickly fill that in. If you want to add more color, again, if you want to add multiple colors, let's say I would add multiple colors, would probably like something like this, right? You can also add multiple colors if you guys want to. But for me, I would keep it all one tone for myself. Um, but we're not done just yet. We want to do one more thing, and then what the thing is going to do is this little gray uh, big name uh, layer here. I want to click on this Control J to make a duplicate of it. Then take the fill, not the opacity, the fill, and lower it down to 0%. Double click here, and we'll go to stroke. And for this, we wanna have it on two point, inside on, or position on the inside. Color is basically gonna be the same color as this gray that you chose before, but move this little circle just a little bit further up, just to make it a nice, simple, kind of like higher or lighter color um, than the original, right? So I'd say that's pretty good right around there. Press okay. Press OK again. Now this layer is simply just now only a stroke of you guys. And of course you can design it more this whole entire background. But for me, we want to right click, convert it to a smart object, then right click, convert it, not convert it, but rasterize a layer. That way it's a nice, simple, uh, flat layer. We put it inside Illustrator or uh, Photoshop mm -hmm. After Effects. It's super simple to actually animate. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to name this outline. I would probably want you to name your stuff. So I'm going to say outline. This is camera box, right? And name all the layers. And I think you're pretty, you're pretty solid spot. Now, if you guys have any more suggestions you want to act, end up doing for your own background, you can add some really cool like fonts, not fonts, uh, t uh, patterns, right? If I want to add a pattern here, I can say to myself, "Hey, I have this pattern right here, right? You won't be able to see it just yet until I fill this in with anything, and then I lower the fill, right? I can add a pattern in here. I can rasterize this, right? Make it super black, and then I can click mask it to the gray." Right, if I click mess with the gray, you can also add a little bit of contrast in here. See, now I have a pattern within the word only says so. You can add a pictures, gradients, whatever. If you want to add, you know, a war zone background in the background of, or how do you say it? Let me see, let me really quickly, hold on. Okay, so just to give you another idea, right? If you don't want to add a pattern, you can also add a picture if you want to, right? I'll just make it a little bit bigger. This is a whatever picture, right? I can just clip mask this picture, right click, clip mask to the actual layer right here. Right, you can add a you know add a picture right over here. You can then add a gradient map. And for gradient maps, to you know a basic rule of thumb is left hand side over here is the shadow. So you make this black, 
and the right hand side over here you can make this any color that you choose right let's just go ahead and say we want to make it like a cool you know uh gray right if we want to right we can press ok and you can also do things like that if you want to make it more personalized to the game but for me i think i'm gonna keep it just be this nice simple little uh pattern because i think it looks pretty dope uh but yeah once you guys have done that delete all the empty layers besides the one that is the outline then we can take this file file save as save to your computer and then when you save it to computer remember where you save it because we're going to open it up inside after effects right after this all right guys so we're now inside after effects we're going to get this thing going so hopefully this part is super short as well because it is super super easy to do so to import our psd that we just saved we want to go to file import file once you guys locate your file press import and this table will end up popping up and what we want to do is when it says composition and retain layer sizes have that selected and then edible layer styles also have that selected press ok and now what will happen here if you don't have your project table by the way that is going to windows and i believe project is that like a is that where it is yep project right or control o to quick show if you don't see the actual uh project table but with this project table you will see the word type that says composition that's the one you want to basically double click on and this will open up a composition of the exact same dimension size that we already set and all of our layers as well are all in here and you can see my hidden layer is the off uh the outline let me just make this full there we go is the outline right here as you can see so we're pretty good so the first thing i want to do is i want to right click on this composition settings and make sure i change my stuff to two minutes mine is currently at zero zero two zero 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 that is basically two minutes so you want to make sure you have that selected and all good to go and for me it's already there so i'm going to press ok now, really quickly, if it wasn't two minutes, let's just really quickly just test it, right? If it wasn't two minutes, let's say if it was three minutes, press OK, right? And you need to shrink the timeline a little bit more. If you wanted to go ahead and highlight everything and move it over, you'll notice these gray layers here that are here are basically saying to yourself, hey, uh, I need to make this longer, but it's not in the same composition. You basically want to double click on them, right? Go back over here. Also make this three minutes, right? You can shrink them, then highlight these two layers again, make this bigger over here. All the way to the end and then you'll notice that you can then take this and move it over so if, of course you need to make it longer that is how you basically do it but for me i'm going to stick on this two two minutes because i already think it's perfect boom just like so but if you're not that's how you fix it just so you know okay so what i want to do for myself is immediately okay go to my outline layer and click on that just like so we have our outline layer pretty much there that's pretty much the only thing we're really animating this video here today because it's super subtle and it looks really good so under where it says effect we're going to where it says transition and we're going to do where it says grid wipe so with grid wipe the first thing we're going to do is uh, immediately keyframe this right here the completion this is going to be 40 and the tiles we're going to leave on five right and we're actually not going to keyframe this but of course adding keyframe is pressing this little uh, stopwatch here uh, i do want to also go ahead and just take the rotation and keyframe that as well so Right now, if I were to click on my outline layer, that is where I added the keyframes at. If you cannot see them, you can press U on your keyboard to bring them up. And just like so, you can see now I have to see the keyframes right here. And also, you can see exactly which ones they are. So completion and rotation are both here. So now that this is here. If I go all the way to the end of the two minute keyframe, right, all the way to the end, take the bar, move it all the way to the end. I'm going to take the where it says rotation, where it says 0x45. We're going to take the zero and just put this as a one, just like so. And then if you kind of just simply go through you'll notice it's basically saying, hey, we're gonna do one full rotation at this angle and then stop at this angle again. The reason why it's important to stop at the angle again is well, of course, when you put in OBS and you have this file looping, then it don't has, uh, doesn't have any trouble. It doesn't jump awkwardly. It's very smooth, right? But we also put it at two minutes because basically that's saying to ourselves, hey, it's gonna take two minutes to do this full rotation. It won't be too fast, um, won't be too slow. I think we just write personally, but if you quickly press enter, Right, you can see it'll be really, really nice and simple, really subtle, really slow. Um, but of course, as well, you can also change the color of these. Uh, uh, you don't have to have a, how do you say, gray on gray font or gray on gray stroke. You can also change the color back in Photoshop if you wanted to. Or even do it in here if you just do fill, um, if you want to know really quickly. Effect fill. Take the fill, drop it on this layer of the outline layer. And if you wanted to change the color, you can also still change the color while also being in After Effects if you want to make it multiple colors. So for me, I think the gray just looked dope and subtle and simple. But if you want to, you can also change it and make it something cool. But you can see here, it's super, super subtle, super clean and super nice. And that is literally all we have to do inside After Effects. Because um, now I can just take this. I don't want the fill. Delete that for a second. Right now, I'm going to just take this. Right. We can add this into, how do you say, uh, media encoder right media encoder cube 
But once it opens up, we can go to Format and click where it says WebM. Now, if you don't have WebM installed, you have to install this. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to actually install it. For me, I'll put this on constrained quality. Take this bit rate and put it in between this middle part here and this endpoint here. And once you guys have done that, we can use Use Maximum Render Quality. And once you've done that, I think that's pretty much all the settings here. You press OK. And of course, this little play button here is how you actually render it. Now, if you don't have WebM, if for two minutes, you might not really need it. So you can also just go ahead and go back to After Effects and do Control M. Now, once you guys did press Control M within After Effects, this is basically the render queue within After Effects that does not use anything else besides rendering inside After Effects. So with this here, you just can change your best settings. These don't actually have to be changed at all, but your output module for lossless, we don't have to change anything besides have this on AVI. We don't have any audio, so we just turn this off. And then we don't actually have any transparency, so we just leave it on RGB press OK, and then of course change your output to where we want to change it to. You save it, you render it, it should, should probably take like five or seven minutes to put it on your computer. Um, that's it. It's quite literally that simple and that easy. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's super, it's so simple. It's like, you're welcome. Like, I, I think this is it. I think this is a really cool idea um, and very simple kind of things to do as well to kind of like, you know, combine this really cool idea, something simple to make it look super awesome and for you guys, of course, create it and make it your own. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it for today's video here today. Now, of course, you guys are wondering, hey, how do you do a starting soon screen? What do you would say? What I would say, excuse me, to that is if we were to go over here. Now, if I was back into After Effects and I was on my same stream intermission screen, what I would end up doing is saving it over. So I saved it over and called it a starting soon screen right now, right? So I'll take my camera box. We don't need one of those. And for this Sesso here, I would say, hey, let's just make them both the same gray. So I'm going to take this gray, put this on this one here, maybe make it lighter. It could be kind of might, might just work. Um, you can leave the recent subscribers, recent donor and recent follower. If you don't want it, let's just say we don't want it. We take it off. And for this, we can just kind of put it. So these two things right here are the only things we really need to keep. So we can take this and say, hey, stream starting stream starting and then we can make the word starting uh that can be the pink that we had before i don't have the same one right on hand but let's take a quick little guess and of course fill that in now with this right here of course the stroke is still there right it is there right so we can take this but also make this stroke instead uh let's just make the stroke instead pink right and now with this string uh this pink excuse me stroke of course we right click and then of course how where is it uh rasterize or excuse me convert to smart object and then rasterize right we throw this of course we can turn it off we throw this right here inside after effects we do the same exact thing with the outline on here and that's kind of like how you do it you basically just kind of deconstruct what you already did with the animation screen and put it elsewhere so if you want to do a overlay same kind of idea if you want to do a stream ending screen you just change the text right um countdowns as well if you want to do a whole countdown with a number that kind of like says five minutes to zero seconds uh, or five minutes to zero minutes you guys get what i'm saying i also have videos on that i'll put that right over here for you guys to watch but that is how i would do it you basically take the intermission screen and just make your starting soon screen and literally do the same exact effect we just did two seconds ago so that is it for me here today i love you guys so very much so hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking pretty guys later much love um and hope you guys enjoyed the video of course if you guys liked it leave a like on the video and that's it love you guys enjoy